What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy TYBAK and Lenny P. Welcome back to another video, another banger. And today, right now, we are at Studio RSI because it is finally time that we install the Flex Fuel Kit on Suzy. We are going to be going onto an E50 tune with the Visconti Flex Fuel Kit. We're here at RSR. They got some dope cars in the front. And uh, let's go see what they're talking about. Got a cool little two tone bands, a little beamer right here. Seeing pretty on the outside. Hey, tail. All right, y'all. It has now been a couple days since we installed the Visconti Flex Fuel Kit. I'm still waiting on an email back from my tuner so we can go ahead and get the tune process going and start doing data logs and flashing the car and all that. So when that day comes, I will be sure to make and be sure to let y'all know. But right now, we still have this annoying low tire pressure light that will not go away. Um, the tire pressures aren't low. I mean, they're not. I guess I looked it up. I looked it up on Google to see what OEM specs were. Anything between like 38, I mean 34 and 38. And the, all the tire pressures are at 34. And even when I warm up the tires to like 85, 90 degrees, the light still doesn't go away. So we're going to go to a discount tire right now. Get this tire pressure light off out of my damn face because it's annoying and it keeps calling roadside assistance for whatever reason got me looking good told me just pull up right here and he's gonna direct me and he'll go ahead and put the air in the tire so it should be to be smooth sailing from here he's gonna get here all nice and spec hopefully that tire pressure light goes away and it stops calling roadside assistance and uh we'll be back on the road good She should be good, man. Let's get her start up. No tire pressure light. Oh, tire pressure light is still on. We we'll have to figure out how to reset that from the screen. But all the tire pressures are at 37 psi, and each tire is at 90 degrees. So the tires aren't low on air, and the tires aren't cold. But the tire pressure light is still on. I don't. I don't know. I honestly have no idea what's going on uh, with my car right now. But if anybody does know what's going on please let me know down in the comment section below y'all know i'm an idiot and i'm too dumb to even figure this shit out i haven't even taken a look under the hood since they installed the flex fuel kit so i don't know if anything changed if anything looks different damn i need to clean the engine bay so bad so here's the flex fuel kit there's some of the new fuel lines right here and uh yeah everything seems to be looking intact i somehow think i figured out how to uh how to take the tire pressure so it's resetting the tire pressure shit is resetting right now i've been following this these directions on whatever website this is and uh it seems to be working it's it was low-key making some weird noises but that might just be the shit working um not even sure but hey we figured out how to get the tire pressure meter warning whatever shit off you know what I'm saying? That's all that matters. It was blinking in my face for like three weeks and it was annoying. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head to the next shop and we're gonna get something installed that I've been needing on this car for over a year now. This should have been the first thing I did to this car, but uh been broke, you know what I'm saying? So I've been putting it off, but you know, it's time that I finally get this installed. <laughs> Yes, you guys have guessed it. We are finally putting tint on the Supra. I'm no longer gonna be driving in a fishbowl. I got tired of it, it was hot in the summer. I should've did it in the summertime, it was way too hot, but we're gonna finally put tint on the car. It's gonna look so much better with the tint. Nobody's gonna be able to see me while I'm driving because it gets really awkward when somebody drives up next to you and they're just driving like this. And it's like, I gotta act like I don't see him. back to the crib final look that just looks way better looks way better and now you can't see in the car but the car just it looks way cleaner now now we just gotta lower her. you feel me get some spacers get some thicker tires on there and some new wheels and she's gonna be sitting pretty 
Uh-oh, y'all, we ran into the Mustang gang. I guess now's a good time to let y'all know we are on our way to Cars and Coffee right now. It's been a couple days since the last clips. This video's been all over the place. But since everybody's at SEMA, there's not really much going on. But we're making the most out of it. We're going to this somebody's grand opening, some motor CMC or Motorsports, I think. I don't really, I forgot the name. But yeah, we're going to their grand opening to their shop. Little Cars and Coffee, we're going to see what kind of cars pull up. Obviously, all the, uh, all the Mustang fanboys is outside. We got... Never get away and I ain't been myself since you've been away but everywhere This rap right here is fire. We made it to Cars and Coffee y'all. But I wanted to touch it and they say we could touch this. That shit low key feel like it it don't feel like what it looks like if that it look like it feels like sandpaper, but it low key does look like it feel like sandpaper. Anyways y'all, we here at Cars and Coffee. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some B-roll footage of the best cars here because they are playing music. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, so I'm gonna play my own shit right now. Never get away, and I ain't been myself since you've been away, but everywhere. Hey, they be going crazy with these Honda bills. On the BBS, it's got the tight ropes. And this shit. Like, I know this shit is slammed to the ground, so I know this shit is bumpy as hell. So imagine trying to drink from that shit. That shit player though, but I, I just don't think it's practical. I respect it, but I wouldn't do it personally. It's just too too crowded. They got like black stickers on the carbon. The carbon looks like pink low key. Like is that like a pink carbon fiber? I don't know, but it's got like black stickers on the hood that kind of makes it look like a shadow. I feel like that's pretty hard. Now this is the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck even is this shit? Like, like, how do they rig the hood to do this shit? It's not even the rap that's bad. The rap is bad. But this... It's... Bro, the inside is even crazier. Like, what the fuck am I even looking at right now? And I know, like, I'm not just trying to talk shit about somebody's build. But, like, literally, what in the fuck? How do you not... How do you drive this shit comfortably? This is low-key player. That's a little much. This low-key player though, in the back. But like just imagine you going to take out a girl you met on Tinder, you're really fucking with her, and you pull up in this shit. She's not, you're not getting a second date. This shit is crazy. Imagine you worked a full eight hour shift and you, you drive home in that. But I'm quitting my job. RIP Kobe, got a Laker wrap on here. Yeah, this one's smooth, this one's smooth. Somebody tell me what this is right now, right now. Out of every car here, I'm gonna take this one home right here. All right, y'all, we are gonna be leaving early and going to go get some breakfast. This is probably the worst car meet I've ever been to in my whole life. I've never seen such hideous builds, and I'm, I'm normally not the one to like, talk down on people's builds because I really don't give a shit but I, that's some of the most hideous shit I've ever seen in my life. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get breakfast and uh, I don't know what else we're going to do. We're going to figure it out though. Ew. Ew. What the fuck? Ew. What the fuck? But that's going to be it for this video. I know this video wasn't as entertaining as I would like it to be. A lot of the car things, a lot of people are out at SEMA right now, so I couldn't really get all the whole game together and we can go cruise. But next two videos should be lit. We got some dope things coming. The tune coming, Lauren Springs. We're going to put the wheels on because I ordered the stud kit, so we should be able to be doing that soon. So yeah, make sure you hit the like button. Always remember to keep it player. I got a stick, bro, got a blip, we catching hella balls. I lost some melon in the garbage, oh, yeah, oh, it can't ask me when I'm fucking, you can tuck it, she, she get sweaty, bro. He say he getting money, I'm like, hey, who you oh, telling, bro? Dogs catch me running to a bag, I'm in the corner like a Reza. Stella got me teed up.